Panama is considered a major hub due to its privileged geographical location. It is a place where the Panama Canal, eighth wonder of the world, offers services to the largest industrial powers and has resulted in major economic growth in recent years. However, Panama is a lot more than just a channel. The country has an important banking and tourist infrastructure, a free trade zone that plays a key role in the business of continent's main commercial roads, and, naturally, horse racing, much practiced since 1880 throughout the country. In 1922, the memorable Juan Franco's horse race course was opened, successfully operating until 1965, when the modern and current race course president Ramon was created as a tribute to Colonel José Antonio Ramón Cantera, highly reputed equestrian and strong advocate of the project. Panama has always excelled for its great jockeys, such as Mania y Casa, Braulio Baeza, Cornelio Velázquez, and Lafitte Pinquet Jr., who has been top race winner of all times for a long period. New stars have also risen, such as José Lescano, Elvis Trujillo, Eddie Castro, Lorenzo Lescano, and Fernando Jara, who recently became the youngest jockey in history to win the prestigious Dubai Cup and the Breeders' World Cup Classic. Panama's equestrian industry generates thousands of jobs, beginning with thoroughbred horse breeding in the main farms like San Miguel and Cerro Punta, among others, located in the highlands of Chiriquí province. It is worth mentioning the acclaimed auctions of imported horses organized by the horse race course that have added value to the horse racing industry in Panama. The horse race course has undergone several transformations. It was managed by the national government before being privatized. Codere took over in October 2005. The Codere Group is a Spanish company with over 25 years of experience running private gaming in Europe and Latin America, including slot machines, bingo halls, race and sports books, OTBs and race courses, has an ownership position at Hipódromo Nacional de Maroñas in Uruguay. Hipódromo de las Américas, in Mexico City, and simulcasting agreements in Brazil with the Brazilian Jockey Club and the Jockey Club do Rio Grande do Sul, in Paraná. Since the arrival of Codere, results have been extremely positive. The number of horses increased from 780 in 2005 to the current 1,023. We have also managed to offer over 1,200 races a year, increasing the average number of competitors per race. The Codere Group has given more than $14.5 million in purses from October 2005 to the present, distributed as follows. We have expanded our off-track agencies to 90 throughout the country. Also since 2006, several race and sports betting books have been opened, including a space for telephone bets under the name of Turf Bet and Sports Bar which proved to be a tremendous success, expanding our customer base and purse structure in the process. Early in 2009, the Cummingalt wagering system was implemented for international bets, enabling bets to be placed at the totalizer of origin for bettors to have greater dividends. Another paramount achievement has been the opening of the Academia Técnica de Formación para Jinetes Lafitte Pinquet Jr., a jockey school approved by the Ministry of Education. The Salón de la Fama Hall of Fame was reopened to recognize owners, breeders, stallions and horses, trainers, jockeys, celebrities and others who have contributed to the thoroughbred racing industry in Panama. In accordance with international regulations, we also obtained the quantification of the main forbidden drugs to help ensure the integrity of the sport. The Cuerpo de Comisarios is in charge of controlling and deciding in equestrian events and is also empowered to sanction any breach of racing regulations. It is worth pointing out that these Comisarios, officers, are appointed by the Gaming Control Committee, recognized by the Ministry of Economy and Finance, showing government supervision, thus adding extra transparency to the activities of the horse race course. The calendar for classic events is organized each year and includes the New Year Classic, Velocidad, Labor Day, the Gaming Control Committee Race, the Caribbean Route, such as the Triple Mare and Male Crown, the Independencia de la República, Mother's Day, 
Christmas, and, of course, the number one event, the traditional Presidente de la República. Panama has also moved a step forward internationally when President Ramon Horse Race Course was accepted as a member of the Latin American Association of Jockey Clubs and Race Courses back in 2006. We were also accepted as observers in the International Federation of Horse Racing Authorities in 2006. And this year, we were included in OSAF with the presence of its chairman, Mr. Bruno Quintana. Group has managed to crown successfully over 100 years of growth in national equestrian activities. We are encouraged by the conviction that many of our initiatives help enlighten the future of horse racing in Panama, bringing us closer to an ever-increasing level of performance by its horses, jockeys, and an advanced technology that will enhance our worldwide reputation for quality racing.